About a month ago, I hosted a meetup at my place, and I had four nomads show up on a variety of different rigs. We had a van, we had a forerunner, actually two forerunners, and then a Toyota Tacoma with an alloy cab on the back. And what we're going to do today is tour Doug's rig. He's built this out to live on the road full time and also work full time, and this is one of the best build outs I've ever seen. All right, so we're walking over to Doug's truck to check out the alloy cab. He has that with a Tacoma that is the six foot bed and the access cab. And it's probably the best setup I've ever seen. So we're gonna go over here and check it out. And he works full time from the road doing uh, software engineering. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm here with my friend, Doug. We met at Overland Expo last year and chatted for a bunch when we were chilling in Phil's booth from down to Mob. And so he's got a really great truck. He's got a Tacoma, which of course I love. Uh, it's a 2019, he's done a ton of work to it and it has the alu cab for his full time nomading. So. Doug, if you want to show us around your rig real quick here, I'm, I'm this is I'm very I'm impressed. All, yeah, with it. Sure. all right, cool. But I kind of open it up in there. I don't know if you'll want to oh. go in there. Oh yeah, dude. This. Oh, you know what? Yeah, oh, come here. So check this out. Look at the when I'm when I'm zoomed out with the with the point five instead of like normal zoom. If I if I zoom it out a little bit, look at how cool that looks in there. Dude, I know that the, awesome. the views. This is one of my favorite things. Is the, the views I get. Yeah. It's incredible. Ooh, the camper. You, it's, it feels that, I think that's why it feels so much bigger. You know, it feels like airy in there. Sweet. Yeah, pull that shelf down. It'll open up the view more. And this is like your desk, right? Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. And that's the view, like working. Oh, gosh, dude. You can line up like the, the best home office on the, on the planet. That's just so cool. So you got the aloe cab here, right? Why did you decide to go with this? Well, it's I'm a backpacker, so I was staying in tents. Uh, I started looking at you know drop-in campers and heavier things, and huh. it didn't really suit my style. I wanted to be able to. I was watching your channel. I liked your philosophy of being able to get into these tight four-service roads, things like that. Many years ago, I, you know these, and so uh, just a lot of stars aligned. I was in Al Alamosa, Iowa. And there happened to be an Alucab dealer there, and I started hanging out with him, nice. Trevor at uh, Front Range Gear. Mm -hmm. And I saw what he had in his shop, and I just fell in love with it. It's the perfect. It's all six hundred pounds. The whole rig. Six hundred. That's it. Six hundred with wow. with the options. The awning. I weighed it myself with the awning. Dude, that's twice everything. as much as my little topper. That's amazing. Yeah. Because my little topper is three hundred, which I thought was a lot, but this is nothing you know, compared to really, how much you have. It's just an aluminum shell. Is all it is. Yeah. I don't have the insulation or a lot of. Uh, uh, benefits now I have that you know that, that doesn't count what I added in here but the show once I got it off of the alu cab installer floor mm -hmm. I waited it was 600 wow yeah. that is impressive yeah and so I would imagine with the upgrades you've done because you've done a bunch of stuff to the suspension with the team you worked with out of Denver um, I would imagine with that you probably don't feel this thing on the back with it being lightweight yeah and and that's so nice because everybody that says with the drop-in campers or the sliding campers whatever that they feel it you know, it's, it's like a, they have this huge thing that's limiting their performance and it really reduces their ability to get on trails. And I would think with this, you, you've got no problem at all. Yeah, I get up right on these trails like like nothing's there. Yeah, this is amazing. So I did this in three rounds. I did the just the shell install with, I did options. You know, I got the canvas bags. I, I you can have with a lot of options. The bags are optional, mm -hmm. uh, awnings optional. Here's a, a table here so I can get the camp. Oh, cool. Out. I didn't, I didn't see that. I can cook on that. It's, I like to be outside. Very nice. Um, and you, and you, and you said the awning, you, uh, you had, that uh, came with it? Like you had yeah, one of the options? I had that you... initially. Okay. Five, six, nine pounds. Then I went for a second round. Uh, I did the water tank, which I love this water tank. Yeah. 13 gallons, puts the weight right there you're in a good center of balance of the vehicle mm -hmm. and i added the dickinson fireplace alu cab installers did all that for me very nice yeah that is so cool and i love how when you open all this up we were talking earlier about the the ventilation that you have in here i feel like that lends to it feel being so much bigger I like it feels oh, like yeah. it's so much bigger you know yeah i'm outside essentially yeah and and, and, and what, i can access everything from the outside so if it's good outside if i need to be inside i can close it up and i got a, a place to be inside so yeah so i can reach everything that's so awesome well and then and then with your desk right here when you pull this down and that's your workspace and you're mm -hmm. looking out the back i mean all you do is frame up the best view on the planet and 
it's probably super inspiring to be in there. And you're like, dude, I'm, I'm literally in some of the best spots of the country, but I'm working. Yeah. I'm making the living, you know, doing my job, but I'm out here yeah. as opposed to in an office. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. That's amazing. So your sleep set up in here, the bed comes down from the top, I was saying? Yeah, you pull the bed down. Okay. It's a seven foot platform. And then this short platform is another two feet. So when you're up there, you got nine feet. Wow. And, and all your bedding just goes up in there and stuff and the mattress yeah, as well? You never make a bed, you just fold it up. That's so cool. What type of mattress is on it? Like a four inch? I think it, no, it's not that much. It's either two or three, but I am, it's perfect for me. Whatever is it? it is, yeah. It's pretty comfy. Yeah. So your propane setup back here, um, this runs your, your the, Dickinson, the Dickinson fireplace. Okay. Yeah. And do you have a range in there too that that's gas? No, I just have a portable stove. Oh, okay. Water burner. Okay. And what do you I think about the buta little butane thing? Yeah. What do you think about the Dickinson stove? Do you like it? Um, I wish it was hotter and, uh, yeah, I wish it was hotter. Okay. It's not, it's not perfect. So it doesn't really kick out as much as you. As but you but it's it, it's it's got pros and cons. I mean, the pros is obviously it's it's combusting out here. It pulls air from the outside mm -hmm. and it expels combustion to the outside. Which is nice because so really nice dry heat in there. That's those cold mornings. It's not it's not enough and it doesn't heat up fast and the distribution's not that great. You can see I had a little extra fan put in there. Mm -hmm. All right, I put the little extra fan in there. Yeah, so, I, I saw it tucked in right there. It's you know. I mean, the pros way outweigh the cons. I mean, if somebody tried to take it from me, I would be angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you, you hit on a good point too with the dry heat because propane, if you have the exhaust coming off in the interior, like I use a backpacking stove to make coffee in my topper and it's constantly making condensation on my, my, my windows, mm -hmm. you know, cause it propane, if it's not vented properly, the byproduct is condensation. Yeah. And so, terrible. which, which, which in a small space stacks up so quick. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you know, I can run that a week i that's my cycle is a week i supply for a week this will run 70 hours on low 55 hours on high i think i never run out of propane so wow i can i can get pretty cold and that's, stay out there that's awesome i see that you've got the goose gear um, yeah this equipment. is part of the third round i went back and i did suspension and uh armor on the outside of the truck i did the goose gear the electrical panel over there mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a spare ba another battery put in the engine bay. Oh, you so have, you have a dual? Part, yeah. I oh, battery. nice. This is all part of my third round of. Uh... You've thought of it all. <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, the, the installers helped me to get. The, when I went back to do this third round of upgrades, I went to Denver uh, Juniper Overland, and they're Al Ucat dealer, but they really did the suspension for me. And those guys there, they they knew how to spec it out better than I did, mm -hmm. and so they were the brainchild of, of the way it is now. And I'm very grateful for that. Cool. cool. Oh, uh -oh. Sierra Punk, are you okay, girl? Come here, sweetie. Yeah, she, that's what happens sometimes. She'll get up and She's up. just sitting there, yeah. yeah it just kind of hurts her. Well, I wonder too, maybe if something, if something bit her. Punk, are you okay, girl? She's just laying right here, right? Yeah, she was just laying right there. I wonder if, I wonder if like a bug got her or something. Is that, is that what's up on the right? Like on yeah. the, mm -hmm. right there? That's so cool. So you put your Starlink up there and then no one can snag it when you go out and go hiking. Yeah, so you bracket to... pivots. Oh, okay. And how much do you have in solar up there? That's 125 watts. Okay. And I carry a couple extra panels. Yeah, just in case. And like, in case you want to park in the shade or something. Yeah, or if I, I need more, I can use a Starlink. Yeah, no, yeah, because Starlink does kind of use, use a lot of energy. Yeah. Roughly, what like what did what did you invest into with the with the Alucab and then first round with Alu Cam was about twenty thousand. Okay, ten for the camper, but then I got a lot of options and shipping and install and stuff like that. It got up towards twenty. Okay, the sec my second round with the uh, Dickinson and the water tank that was about five. Okay, and then. Everything else, the third round suspension, I'm almost embarrassed to admit, but it was around 30. Was it really? Yeah. Okay. But but you're working in here full time. You I'm do a software engineer. I have no property. I sold everything or trashed everything. And mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I'm, if, if something's going to cost $30,000 and I like it and I want it, I'm in a position to do it. So yeah, that, that's cool. Well, and then you really have one of the most functional midsize uh, trucks out there for overlanding for full time that I've seen. Because, you know, we, we were talking about the sliding campers. Most of them hang over the side a lot, decreases your ability to go on tight trails and all that yeah. stuff. And this is, the profile of this is perfect. 
and that's what I love. And, and to, on top of to the weight, I didn't realize it was only 600 pounds. That is, that is so impressive. Cause like with my truck is, so it's 300 pounds for the, the topper, but then I have like a roof rack on there and then I've got a water thing on the side. I bet if you add it all up, it's well over 400. So 200 pounds more and I could have this. That's amazing. So that's impressive. Water comes out back here. Okay, cool. And then this that, is that's a propane. It. Yeah, I yeah. can hook up another propane tank out here if I wanted to. I cool. haven't used that. Do you, wait, so you said you got a portable stove. Do you do most of your cooking outside or inside? Both depends on the weather. Okay. Uh, a lot inside because I it's comfortable in there. Yeah. I really like it in there. I yeah. get coffee in the morning. I don't get out. I usually stay in there. Yeah, this is phenomenal, man. I kind of sit right there in that pillow and I have a lot of flat spaces, you know. Oh, what's nice lighting, is it? The lighting is good. They have lighting all around, you know. Mm -hmm. Very nice. You see another other. other out yeah, I saw it up there. Show up the lighting a lot. That's fantastic. Well, and, and you get in here and it doesn't feel cramped. Like, no. you know, a lot of a lot of the, the sliding campers do because it's such a small channel of a walkway. And then they have so much stuff in there that a lot of it you don't need, really, you know? And so I love the fact that you had you, that you got the shell and then you built it out according to what you like to do. Like, so you like to backpack, you like to be on the go, you like to get to these remote places, you got your truck dialed in for the suspension. I mean, you've done a nice job. Thank you. This is fantastic. So where are you off to next? Uh... I think I'm going to Sedona, as per your suggestion. You <laughs> yeah. Some good ideas. Well, hopefully I can meet you out there this week and we can uh, check out some of that stuff together. I would love that. So would I'll keep that. you posted. But thank you for giving us a tour of your rig here. Is there anything else and you like, want to hit on? Uh, you want to look at the suspension or at all? Sure. Know? Yeah, I did a little little uh, oh, B roll yeah. of it. But yeah, if you want to. Uh, rock sliders put on. Took the stock ones off. Full uh, skid plate. I took the factory skid plate off. Oh yeah, I see that there. That's nice. Um. Up here on the bumper, just nice little things. These are great. Solar, uh, I could I could dongle a solar panel on here. Mm -hmm. uh, it hooks parallel in with that, so that gives me flexibility. With adding more solar, I carry Starlink now. I have a dual um, chamber air compressor, ARB in there. The chuck is out here. It's really nice. The switch is in the cab. I don't have to open the hood to That's air up, sort of, air down. See, I do have to open the hood because mine's right here. So I open it up and then everybody, I mean, every time I open up, are you okay? Are you broken yeah. down? I'm, no, I'm just airing up, you know, or, yeah. or whatever. And they stop anyway, even with the hood down. <laughs> yeah. I'm making a kind of a racket anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's a great feature. And then your lights, I've noticed were angled out a little bit. So it gives you more side view of what you're going through. If it's like a really dark area that you're wheeling into at night. Yeah. That's ideal. I didn't put any uh, light bar in or much lights. I never, use, I never and driving coming to camp at night anyway it's yeah i always set up my setup prior to that too and then i see you have a winch here what how many pounds do you have what's it's a 9k okay i think come up they have a 9k and a 12k this is a 9k yeah you don't need a 12k for something like this well and what's so nice we were talking about you know with the with the with the mid-size trucks is that we can go places that full-size camp you know and i do yeah and it's I so mean, nice i've got my uh my courage and stuff to go back in places has really grown and, <laughs> and the truck does it for me. You know, it teaches me what it can do and it's, it's awesome. Yeah. Boy, I tell you what, man, I, I like my setup, but I love yours. <laughs> well, you were an influence. I really appreciate it. Cause I, you know, it's enabled a lot of things for me. Cool. It's just been, you know, that's great to hear. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. So, well, thanks. This is great, Doug. I, I like I said, I, I couldn't be more impressed with your rig. It's probably the next rendition of what I'm going to do. All the right. Aloe Cab is camping. insane. Yeah, <laughs> sounds great. The spot where I decided to take Doug is one of my favorite places in Sedona. This section is just gorgeous. It's a great place to camp. The views are incredible. The bird songs in the morning are, are just amazing. And you always get to see the hot air balloons that are taken off to cruise over town. So this is a great vantage point. So thanks again to Doug for showing us your rig. And thank you to everybody for tuning in. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.